Wow. So this week we're going to be look, talking about Ecuador. Before we get into more of Ecuador, a uh, couple announcements. On Thursday, there is a live stream that we're going to watch of this man right here. He led something for National Ge Geographic called Pristine Seas. And he's one that really, really helps and clean up the oceans and make sure that people do what they're supposed to do. And he was one leader for one area in Ecuador, which is called the Galapagos Islands, which we'll talk more about tomorrow. The Galapagos Islands are very important to Ecuador because it provides them with the money, tourists there and things like that. So we're going to be watching that on Thursday at 1 o'clock um, because they are in Eastern time. And it's going to, I'm going to post a live stream on Google Classroom. I'll try and, I guess, double live stream it through like a Zoom, and that way we can talk about it ourselves. But um, be there to talk about that. We're going to be uh, discussing about the Ecuador and the Galapagos Islands. On Wednesday, I'm going to have you all watch a 40-minute video yeah, of this guy and uh, talk about the Galapagos Islands and what he did specifically out there. Uh, it's a very good video. I think it's inter interesting, especially when he talks about some of the animals being goofy and lazy. And so uh, be prepared for that. Another announcement. So this Friday, we're also going to be doing a, a family fun live stream uh, or just a fun live stream. So I invite you to come and we're going to be able to like, play Kahoot, we're also going to play a Pictionary-like game called Dropple 2 all together. You'll need a second device for that uh, of some type, either a computer, a phone, or something. And then what we'll also do is maybe dance. Uh, come, for, come, come to that live stream. It's going to be, it's going to be fun. Uh, you also, it's also inviting for any other family members that want to come, uh, any siblings you have, any, you know, you know, bring them on. I'm, I'm all for it. So um, the more the merrier on that day because it's just a day for us to just have fun on that family front. It's going to be from 10 o'clock in the morning till 1130, uh, just an hour and a half. Now, if, it, if things are happening really fun, and I might make it go longer. Uh, but for right now, 10 o'clock till 1130 is what's going to happen. Uh, that's about it. So Ecuador. Ecuador is a small country in South America. And it's about northwest, uh, very actually touches borders of the Pacific Ocean over there. It also looks very close to Colombia and other countries of that area, Peru. And one thing about Ecuador is really big about is their most important economic moneymaker, which is the service industry. If you don't remember what the service industry is, service industry is when you work in a hotel or you work in a tourist attraction, or you work with the government, something to do with people and the public. So that is what the service industry is. Um, the Also, the people there are Metizo? Met, mestizo. Mestizo, okay. So a mestizo are people that are both Native American and European of some descent. Also, what's interesting about Ecuador is that not only do they have a big on service industry, but also with oil. Uh, oil comes up to about half of their exports. So most of their exports is oil they sell to other countries. You can use that same money from the U.S. in Ecuador. That's their official currency is U.S. dollars. The reason why that is is due to something called hyperinflation. Uh, if you don't know what hyperinflation is, it's when... You have, let's say you have a bag of flour, and that bag of flour was two dollars. Two dollars is fine, right? Well, what happens with hyperinflation is when everybody else starts to make more money, being which Ecuador has a lot of money with oil. So, if there, if the people's amount of money goes up, then the prices go up. So that bag of flour that was $2 one day could, with the price of oil shooting up, could increase that bag of flour to $15 or something something atrocious. Uh, because maybe some people can pay for it, but not everybody. 
So that's the reason why they have the U.S. dollar, because then it's based off of our our economy. Okay. So that is information about Ecuador. Some introduction information. Uh, make sure you do the assignment that's posted on Google Classroom for this day. And tomorrow we're going to talk about the Galapagos Islands. Keep learning. I'll see you later.